morning everybody happy labor day it's scott with another quick tool thought uh i wanted to kind of revise my um everyday carry video i posted a while back i've since refined it i mean i've been carrying this stuff basically for years and it's always been a kind of a pain in the butt but um i've kind of revised it and now it's a little more uh a little more tenable let's say um, so what you see is the layout that I used to carry on my belt. Um, so right here, we've got a hard Blackhawk spring-loaded holster that uh, holds uh, flashlights that use either the CR-123s or the bigger uh, rechargeables. I'm not sure what the number designation is on them, but um, I really like this holster. Uh, it's a hard, you know, a hard stop. You know it's in there every time. There's a little bit of a spring load in there. I don't know if you can see it. But I love this thing, so I, I always um, try and buy the most powerful flashlight I can fit in it. Now, you don't have to stick with a short flashlight. See, it bottoms out right here. If you get a longer one that uses two CR-123s, it just sticks out of the top a little bit. Uh, I find that uncomfortable, so I stick with these shorties. But I thought I might cut the bottom out of this and uh, let, the, let the extra, you know, I might upgrade my light and then... Um, let the extra go through the bottom. I might try that. Worst thing is I'll have to buy another uh, holster. Um, then I had the Leatherman, the Charge TTI. I, that, that thing is indispensable. I use it every single day. Uh, then I had this pouch that had these two sets of pliers in it. Um, always good to have a little set of nips, you know, when you're working on racks and low voltage things, cutting zip ties and whatnot. And... You know, while the, the Leatherman is a great tool, it doesn't really do well as just a straight set of pliers because a lot of times the needle noses are getting in the way. So I was carrying these. Um, now these are the Channel Lock 424s. They're the 4-inch. But as you can see, they're not that big. I mean, they're quality made. Don't get me wrong. You know, you guys know I'm a big channel, a fan of Channel Lock. But uh, they're very tiny. They're more like ignition pliers. So... Those two were what was in this pouch, and then the bit kit and the extender were in that pouch. Sometimes, not always, I would carry the uh, Leatherman Molly sheath to carry the bigger old-school Leatherman knife that I, that I like to carry. And then on my right side is uh, the pancake holster for my carry firearm of the day. Uh, so that was what I was into. You know, that was what I was carrying every day. It was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but I've since switched to something different. And it'll this will kind of turn into a mini review of that. So you take all these pouches out of the way. And what I've gone to is the Maxpedition TC5 pouch. It's a great little pouch. I've been living with it for a week or two now, and I love it. It's um, it's only about five inches tall, so it's not hanging down in front of my back pocket to where I can't get my wallet in and out. The only thing I have is it's a little, you know, thicker than I would like it to be. But you know, if you're gonna carry this stuff, then you gotta you gotta make some compromises. I like to be prepared. You know, sometimes we're, we're working in downtown areas up in high-rise buildings and, you know, you just need a quick tool if you're on a service call and you don't want to have to go through the whole spiel of going and getting an elevator, going down through security and going to the van and getting a tool. So I like to have stuff on me. So this is what I've switched to. So flashlight stays in the same spot on the belt. Um, then the Leatherman goes in this side pouch right here. Um, you snap that shut. It's really not that hard to get these snaps to uh, snap when you're, you know, you're reaching behind your back. So that's there, you always know where that is. Now the interior uh, has a slide pocket in the back, a main compartment, and then another slide pocket in the front. Um, so what I do is I put the little dikes in the front pocket, nose up, you know, cause you're always gonna know what that little nose is. You just gotta be careful you don't get bit reaching back there. Um, 
in the backslide pouch, I put the bit kits and I've adapted a little tweaker bit. Um, Leatherman stuff I love, but they don't have a good, you know, tweaker bit. So I've adapted that to fit in there. And then I got an adapter to fit the tweaker bit in the Leatherman extension that comes out. And uh, that sits in the back there. Okay, then the bigger Leatherman knife goes in. And then remember I said about the little channel lock uh, pliers, not really being full-size pliers. I switched to these Nipex Cobras. They're five inch. They're more of a full-size plier that's you know actually usable. Um, I'll put them next to each other for comparison. I mean, they're about the same length, but look at the size of the jaw. Uh, it's, it's really not even close. I mean, like I said, I'm a big fan of channel lock, but the Nipex win on the compact plier uh, front. Um, so that's what I've switched to. Now they go in right here. And that's it, that's all I've got in there. I mean, and there's still room for more. Um, you can feel, you know, the reason I put the he the handles down on the little dikes is so that I can differentiate them while feeling from them for the from the, the Nipex uh, Cobras here, and then you just close it up, snap it. I like the little positive lock snaps on the on this, um, and it's got a little thing you can hang your keys off of or whatever, and that's how my EDC looks. Now it's a lot more compact a lot less pouches and frustration to deal with when putting the belt on for the first time in the morning and uh it's made my life a little easier um like i said it does bulge out a little bit but you know i wear loose enough shirts to where it's not a big huge issue the only thing i don't like is i hate velcro as a fastener it grabs your shirts and stuff and tears them up you know with the rough the rough side of the hooks so I tried to take them off, but as you can see, they're kind of interlaced with the stitching that's holding the rest of the pouch together, so I can't really get them off. But to me, these, these clips here would have been sufficient enough, but it is what it is. It's darn near perfect. It's a tough little pouch. It's available on Amazon. Um, and that's my revised EDC, guys. Hope everyone's having a good holiday, and uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Have a great day.